hi everyone it's Anne. today we're going to take a look at a little older deck actually it's four years old it's called mists of avalon oracle cards and it was originally released back in march of 2020 i'm recording this uh, at the end of march 2024 so basically exactly four years and a couple weeks old um it's by rose and sarah illustrated by Nadi nadia turner it's in a hard case two-part box there's thumb hole cutouts on the sides here in the backs the publisher is rock pool um within the myths of avalon oracle uncover the myth of king Arthur and the camelot story as you connect to druidic lord and the magic of Morgan Le Fay, be empowered by the Avalon priestesses as they speak the language of trees in the sacred groves, feel the spiritual power of the mystic landscape of Glastonbury, revere since ancient times as a gateway to the other world, become part of the magic and myth of Avalon. I do have Camelot tarot cards. I never got the oracle cards and it's one of those that popped up on my feed and I'm like this looks familiar so I believe I have the tarot cards but not oracle so I went ahead and pur purchased it recently very pretty aqua blue color inside hard case box and it does come with the guidebook which we'll take a look at in depth after we look at the cards and here are the backs. And since it's been around for four years, some of you may be already familiar or even own it. So size are not gilded. It is quote unquote plasticky. There is a sheen. You can see how it pick, pick up all the glare reflection, comparing it to applied back tarot card size is taller and wider. It's about the same size as a Hay House Oracle card. Yeah, it's a hair taller and hair wider, pretty much. Oracle card size box. I mean, well, yeah, their boxes uh, reminds me of Hay House uh, box, and then their card size is also like Hay House uh, Oracle card size. As you can see, there is a, a green border followed by a brown gold border. The cards are numbered up top. They do have a main title description, and then there's four keywords top and then on the side the bottom and the left so I'm not going to read all of the keywords but I will read the main title of the card so starting out we have the Abbey the Tor the Isles of Avalon the chalice whale the white spring camelot the holy thorn the sacred grave oh i'm sorry the sacred grove i'm having difficulty reading this font chalice he hill the other world, Excalibur, the Holy Grail, the Dragon, Sacred Union, the Mists of Avalon, Morgan Le Fay, the Lady of the Lake, Merlin, King Arthur. Guinevere, I grain or a rain, not sure how that's pronounced. Talison, Lancelot, Galahad. Priestess of Avalon, 
fairy, the lady of Shalot, Nimun or Nimun. Um, apologies, I don't. I am not familiar with all of the names. Some of them I'm, I am familiar with. Uh, Sarawin, Sarawin, Sarawin. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I know she's a popular one. Sarawin. Uh, Rayanin. Ari Nahad. Probably butchered that. <laughs> Branwyn, Blodewed, Blodewed. I'm not familiar with her. I haven't he heard of her at all. Bridget, she's someone I do have heard of. The King of the Fairy Realm, and last but not least, the White Hair, the White Heart. So there's a total of 36 cards. Here's another look at the back. Let's take a look at the guidebook. So there is the table of contents. Makes it easy to look the cards up. Acknowledgements, introduction. So it is in color. Just matte uh, pa pa pages. How to use the cards. One card reading, three card spread, there's sample spreads. And then you do get a small black, um, you do get a small color picture of the cards and then the message itself. And then I guess this is like a phrase or affirmation. I know myself well and I live an authentic life. Yeah, so it's like each card also have like a affirmation like this one says I am connected to spirit yeah so you get key words it looks like illusion transformation boundary enchantment the myths of enchantment are guardians of hidden realms and doorways to mysterious secret places. Be awakened to the call of destiny. You are enchanted with the potential of what your life could look like with a renewed appreciation of life. Listen to your inner voice. You have the magic inside you to manifest joy, success, and satisfaction. So you get the color picture, you get keywords, and then a little poem, and then the message, and then the write-up. Uh, like the card of the mist of Avalon appears when you are ready for the enchantment to begin. So very nice. Nice Celtic energies about the author, about the illustrator. There's a total of 119 pages. So yeah, I was uh, drawn to the deck, and uh, like I said, I, I own the tarot, but not the oracle, so I decided to pick this one up, even though it's four years old. So uh, it's nice deck to have in your collection if you like that, the theme of Camelot and all the Celtic Avalon Lancelot uh, story or if you are interested and feel drawn to it and resonate with it I will put the link in the description underneath the video as usual for anyone interested in purchasing it if you haven't seen it or haven't heard of it or you want to check it out and read about it a little bit more Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all again on the next video. Bye!